Fueled by Deathcast. You guys started writing as a band with this unit and yeah. on the on that record. It was a little different from the early iteration of the band, which was predominantly Ben, like, you know, right. like <clears throat> being, you know, that driving force. You guys all contributed to that. What was it like in the writing process of, of these records? Humbling. Yeah? You know, uh, for him to put trust in us, to be able to recreate a style, you know, and not change it too drastically, but just giving us the trust of, you know, like, hey, I need a verse for this song, or like, I, I need lyrics for this part of the song, and like, here you guys go, like, figure it out, and we're like, wow, like, he respects us and trusts us enough to do that, so that was pretty cool, but at the same time, it's like, when it comes out, you put it out there, and it's like throwing a grenade, and going like, oh god, are they, are they, are they these people gonna like this stuff, you know, because... You know, like the first single that came out, Red Cold River, Aaron wrote the chorus. You know, for him, I would imagine he was like, oh, boy. Yeah. You know, like, I hope they like it because yeah. if they don't, it look, makes us look bad. Right. You know, because it's always been a success for Ben. I mean, he, whatever he touches turns to gold. I mean, you could just touch that microphone that's <laughs> worth millions of bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, for us, it was really, really nerve wracking for sure. Yeah, it's just crazy. It was crazy. And I've always really loved the band and I've always really loved the band's music. And yeah. Ben and I have always had kind of a similar mindset musically. So, um, and we, you know, stayed friends through the whole thing and we always wanted to do something together. And I guess it was like 2010. Yeah, it was 2010. They were wrapping up the Deer Agony tour. Yep. And Ben called me and he was like, I'm going to play some acoustic shows and I want you to come play with me he's like I it's like never really had anybody who can like sing sing come so I want you to come and and play and I'm like I'm not really a great guitar player uh, I can play guitar uh -huh. uh, you know I, I write songs on guitar and stuff like that but like I would not by any stretch of the imagination call myself a lead guitar player <laughs> uh, and he's like yeah you know just, oh, don't worry about the lead parts you know you'll just you'll play them fine just I really just want you to sing so we went out and we did those two shows in 2010 and I mean you know we that was that kind of cemented that you know we were gonna you know we were gonna do something together you know and then the band went into the hiatus and uh you know all the all the well-documented yeah. legal stuff happened and then it was just like when the band was coming back it's like okay well it's me and you let's put together a band and, so uh, so you were the first one that yeah contact oh yeah oh wow yeah that's really cool yeah so and he you know and as far as putting the band together you know he gave me like uh, he gave me as much input as he would have given like you know anyone he was like this is our band so you know i want you to be okay with whoever we get to and i was like oh okay all right you don't have to do that but you know but it was you know and that's the way it's been you know that's the way it's been ever since and you know even with everyone that he brought in you know, he could very much be, you know, going around like, oh, well, I and me and this is mine and I did this and I did that. But he always has very much a we mentality when we do stuff and, um, you know, tries to keep us involved and in the loop on everything yeah. you know, as much as is possible. Um, and then, you know, the people that we put together, it's just such an talent. It's such a talented group of people and it's such an honor to get to play with everybody every day. And it's and they're all fun. And we all have a great time. I mean, we've now, what is it? It's 2019 now. So we've been touring for like five years together, pretty much straight. Yeah. And, uh, and we love each other. We're having like, the, we're having the time of our lives. It's, it's so great. 